Hey guys, welcome back. As you all know, Apple released iOS 16.3 beta 1 to the developers. So I'm behind the schedule. So this update came out um, yesterday and I'm doing it today. So to download the software, I have to go to settings, general, and software update. And guys, as you can see it here, this is the iOS 16.3 bed one. It's a large file though, 5.33 gigabytes. So it's a large file. So I'm going to go ahead and install it on my device. Click on install and then type in my password. And now, let's use Wi-Fi to download this thing. All right, and as you can see here, it's gonna download and it's gonna take a while. Right now it says requesting, update requested, so it's gonna show how long it takes to download this uh, software. As I mentioned, it's a large one, and it says 16 minutes remaining, so we're gonna have to wait until it's done. So we're gonna install it, and then we see what's new, okay guys? Okay guys, now my phone is finished updating. So let's go ahead and check out the software and the build number and everything. So when I go to general, uh, let's see, um, about, and when I come here, this is what I have. It says, okay, to general, this is what it shows. I've, I have a 16.3 and this is better one on an iPhone. 14 Pro Max, all right? And when I click on iOS 16.3, you see this is the build number 20D5024E. So this is the build number, and it says contents bug fixes and improvement. So there's a new feature on this update. So when you go to settings, you click on your name, and then you click on password and security, and then you're gonna see um, two-factor authentication. I mean, the password and security, there's a new section here that says add security key. And this is the screen you get, you can, it says uh, a FIDO certification security key is a third-party hardware that you can use to verify your identity when you sign in. And here you can use a physical security key, you can add security key here. So let's click on add. And here what do we say? You need two security key, and you can add physical key, and also you can add um, the physical key. I don't have it handy, so I cannot show it to you, but you can use that if you wanna log in on your device using the physical security key. So I don't know if it's practical, I don't know, but I prefer to use my password and also username and stuff like that. And also, I prefer to use my Apple ID. It all depends on what you what that means. But it's a new update, so um, I don't feel fully understand what's going on. But hopefully, I'll dig it up more and find out, um, learn more about the security key. And guys, the next next update is the Apple Music. So when you click on the Apple Music, you get this nice splash, belt, rap, belt, belt it, wrap it, sing it. You know, I think it's most likely karaoke. And you can subscribe to this or you can see all plans. For example, let's check out all plans. Um, I had, um, it's $10.99 for individual plan, unlimited music for one person recommended. So with this, you can have um, karaoke in there, you can sing it and also you can um, rap it, whatever song you like. And when you click on subscribe, it's gonna take you to a subscription page. But I had Apple Music and I wasn't using it at all. I don't listen to music. I had a subscription, but I canceled it two days ago because I wasn't using it. But I'm thinking about going back to going to a family plan because um, you know I have children. We all can have an account, so the family plan is 14.95. But if you want to add this plan right here with the karaoke, the family plan is 16.95, 16.99. All right. So this is one of the future right here. So if you like music, Apple Music, you wanna sing it, you wanna rap it, and you wanna sing some karaoke, I think this update is really good for you. You can use this feature. And also, we don't see the Apple Music Classical as they 
mentioned that it's going to come it was going to come in with the IU 16.3 we don't see that yet so um, hopefully it's going to come with a beta 2 and also there are some other features they said that they were going to add and we haven't seen it on this update and also guys I forgot to mention something um, let me show you something recently my son got into a car accident so he lost control of his vehicle and hit a telephone pole and the car was total but the um, crash detection on his phone, on his iPhone 14 Pro Max, didn't come on. So I'm going to show you a photo of the accident, show you what the car looked like. There we go. So this is the um, car crash that my son got into. And the um, crash de detection feature on his iPhone didn't come on. But luckily, thanks God, nothing happened to him. He walked out of this thing with nothing, no scratch, nothing, no broken bones, anything. But I just wanted to mention that on my reviews that his, on his iPhone, the crash detection feature did not come on. So I don't know why this is something to worry about. Maybe I should go to Apple store and mention that to them so they can do some other research. Because I know that um, on a roller coaster, the crash detection comes on. So why not on a real crash? So I don't understand that feature. All right, so that's one thing that I wanted to mention on my reviews, just to guys give you guys a heads up. Other than that, guys, I don't see anything new on this update. So hopefully on the iOS 16.3 Beta 2, we'll see some new features and new updates. But right now, that's all I got. I don't see anything else. So hopefully the next one will be more, will give us more details and more new feature updates. All right, guys, this is it. This is the iOS 16.3 Beta 1. Uh, that was a review. I know I didn't give you a lot of details about it, but that's all I got for now. I don't know anything about the battery life, how, how, if it, what has been improved, or I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, I just downloaded this um, software, so I need to play with my phone for a few days, so I see what's going on, and then after that, I come back and give you more update about it. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video on YouTube. Thank you for watching.